Hey guys, and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be telling you how to download music or video from YouTube from the command line. Now we're going to do this using a tool called YouTube-DL. Now I'm pretty sure this is available for uh, all operating systems, Mac OS X, Windows, and Linux, but I'm going to be showing you how to download it in Linux. If you'd like to download it in one of the other operating systems, just type in YouTube-DL into Google and you should be able to find their website where they explain to you how to download it for your specific operating system. However, uh, in this case, um, I'm going to download it for Linux and everything on the command line should be um, pretty universal for all operating systems. So um, once I download this, it'll, it'll be fine for whatever system you're using. Alright, so the way we use YouTube-DL is by typing YouTube-DL the, the name of the command obviously and if we simply just want to download um, the video itself all we have to do is get the URL copy it and paste it into the command line and what this will do is it'll download the best available file format for um, this YouTube video um, in this case I'm assuming it's like a 1280 by 720p or, or something of that nature and it's probably an mp4 format because that's the uh, best available format at this time uh, but we'll see in a second once it actually does it. Right now it's being kind of slow just because I right now my connection is kind of uh, slow. But usually this downloads much quicker. Um, so don't worry about speed or anything. As you can see it's it's downloading relatively slow but it, it's usually much faster. Uh, I'm just going to cancel that because I don't feel like waiting until it's done. So that's if you want to just download the best available format. However if you want to download some other kind of format um, that's not the best available format for whatever reason you can type YouTube-DL dash capital F capital F is important in this case and then the name of the YouTube video or the, the URL of the YouTube video and what this should do is give us a list of available formats file formats for this um, YouTube video yep here it is um, as you can see they have like WebM, M4A, MP4 and it shows you pretty much from what worst to best um, and one reason why this is important is because this allows us to download the audio only so if you find a, a music video on YouTube but you just want the audio um, you can download solely the audio of the video and not have to worry about splitting the audio in the video later on yourself so the way you go about doing this if you want to download for a certain format we're just going to download for audio only in this case uh, the way it works is you type YouTube-DL and in this time instead of typing capital F you type a lowercase f then the number of the format, in this case 140, which is M4A audio only, and then the YouTube video, the, the URL. And that'll go and it will download uh, just the audio in MP4, MP, M4A format um, to whatever uh, folder you're currently in in the command prompt or terminal. Um, as you can see, I've already, I already have it downloaded, so it'll give me this message saying this uh, file has already been downloaded. Which is a very nice feature actually because it makes sure that you don't duplicate any um, downloads. Um, it only work within the same folder so basically all it's saying is that hey we found this, fo this file in the folder, folder you're trying to download to. Um, we're not going to download it again just so it doesn't overwrite it. Um, another cool feature of YouTube-DL which is my favorite feature is the fact that um, you can take a text file such as this uh, populate it with um, YouTube videos. In this case, I'm just going to copy and paste a bunch of the same one just to demonstrate what it would look like. Uh, you can fill fill a TXT file with a bunch of YouTube videos, and um, you can have YouTube.dl download using that file. It'll go through and it'll download the first line, then the second line, then the third line, then the fourth line, and so on. Um, and the way you go about doing that is typing YouTube-dl-a, and then the name of the TXT file. In this case, YouTube-DL-A songs.txt. Um, and what this allows you to do is it allows you to automate your downloading so that you only have to type one command instead of typing it over and over for every YouTube video. Um, and this comes in handy. Um, I, do, I use this a lot to download music. I'll just take all the files I want, or all the URLs that I want. I'll put them in songs.txt and I'll download them. And um, you can also do combine this file or combine this command with the uh, dash F command to download only the um, audio file, uh, the audio format of all of those files. Um, and now the best way to do this so that you can automate it and use it every single time is to put it into a bash command, which is what I have done. Um, 
and the way that works is you create a .sh file and inside of it you put this command so that uh, the command knows that you're using bash and then you uh, type the command that we just did the dash f140 dash a songs.txt once you've created that file you're going to want to open the command prompt within the uh, the location of the file so in this case I have it in dash music and you're going to type chmod a plus x uh, the name of the file so download.sh and what that's going to do is it's going to make the, the uh, file executable so you can just double click it and run it um, and once you have that done all you have to do is uh, song, fill songs.txt with uh, um, files that you want to download and you double click on download.sh and it'll go through and download all the songs in songs.txt so it's very useful um, it makes downloading YouTube videos much easier um, and you can do it much quicker um, in my experience the, the files download extremely quickly if you're on a good um, wireless signal right now like I said mine's slow I'm assuming a lot of people are using the network right now um, but as you can see I downloaded all of these files within the period of like a couple minutes so it's really uh, it's really helpful it's really useful and it's good for people who like to use the command line so uh, thank you guys for watching I uh, hope to see you again soon and I hope this was helpful in some way um, so yeah enjoy your day